moment we here have all been waiting for. It's something no one should miss. Our Jules is about to do the unthinkable. And you are all my witnesses. That's right. Jules Asner is about to heat up the kitchen. kitchen and the pressure is on, Miss Jules. I'm feeling the, I'm feeling the pressure. You guys, have a little faith. Have a little faith. You know, the truth is, we always joke around, but I, I'm not a big baker. I don't like to bake. And you've always said that you would be Mrs. Fields if you could be. I actually wanted to start my own baking business for a while. I thought about it. Because I make great cookies and great brownies, but you know what? You guys sell a lot of cookies to make a living. That's a, that's a <laughs> lot of good. That's a lot of bacon. Yeah. Now, what are we going to make today? What What are they officially called, these cookies? They're just Jules chocolate chip cookies. It's nothing that. And actually, this recipe is from my grandmother. What do we need to make these? All right, this is what we're going to need. We're going to need butter, brown sugar, white sugar, eggs, vanilla extract. And I use double vanilla extract. I use four teaspoons in this recipe. Four cups of flour. Oatmeal, salt, baking powder, baking soda, two bags of chocolate chips, and this is one of my secrets, a Hershey bar, and three cups of walnuts. Yum. If I'm doing semi, I use walnuts. If I'm doing milk chocolate, I use pecans. Joel Asner, Julianne White, don't you ever make fun of me again for using Velveeta or anything. Look how much, this is a pound of butter. Well, a pound of butter is different than a big brick of Velveeta. <laughs> Okay, okay, how do I start? What's okay, the first, first thing step in making these? We're going to cream together the sugars, uh, the four eggs, and the pound of butter. Yeah, you put them in there. Remember, I'm not a baker. I never claimed to be, so I don't know how to do any of this. Okay, so I put all this in here. With the oh, that brown sugar smells so good. Mm -hmm. mm. And I put this big pound of butter in here, too? The whole thing is softened, not melted, because if it's melted, they don't have the great consistency. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's just softened. Mm -hmm. And then this is the double for the... We use this. And then you, you cream that Ooh. together. Oops, okay, now what about these? Yeah, you put those in there too. Okay. All of it goes in there? Yeah, and then just cream these together. The no, wait, wait. Oh. Cream okay. these together. You <laughs> <laughs> did that on perfect. I did. Okay. So you cream these together, and then you add the flour. If you didn't have a mixer, can you just do it by hand? Yeah. Okay. But this this recipe makes a lot of cookies. It makes seven dozen cookies. Seven dozen? Good well, God, no. You gotta bring them to people. Don't you just have an image of Jules sitting watching the show eating cookies? So you add the flour, and then the salt, and the baking powder, and the baking soda. Now you have a secret ingredient. Is it Velveeta? It's not Velveeta. What is it? <laughs> All right. Now we would mix this up a little bit. We're gonna get started. Thanks. Now the secret is I make oatmeal flour out of the oatmeal. What? Have you heard about this oatmeal no. flour? Um, I take the oatmeal and I put about half a cup into the blender. And then you just blend it, and it'll blend it down and make it into flour. That's and pretty, actually, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and this gives the cookies a great consistency. So here I have the oatmeal flour, and oh, I would add the oatmeal flour in. Oh, my God, it's very, this is, your grandma gave you this recipe, this mm -hmm. idea? Because I would think oatmeal, I immediately think to myself, okay, oatmeal, oatmeal cookies, hello. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Lynn. I you never operated this. So, you know, you would mix this up, and then this is what happens. You would come out with this batter. Okay. And it's really thick, and it's great. And then what you do is you would add the nuts, the chocolate, and then I take the milk chocolate bar, and I grate it. Oh, my goodness. That's one of the great things. So you just... Oh, this is awesome. I love it. Oh, Jewel, it's like a lead... How do you... No, you got to You got to Look at you. Is good. She's so, good. And then I take like a, about a golf ball size, and then I put it and I smash it. And you smash it. <laughs> and you just pop them in the oven, and you don't bake them that long, like eight to ten minutes, and then you get the cookies. Oh yeah, let me try this one. Is it. Okay, here's the big test. I'm gonna the be really honest. Now I feel the pressure. No, what the food? It's really delicious. I don't know what. Than All I got jokes aside, this is absolutely delicious. Your grandma did the right thing. Yeah, they're, 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 these are a couple of days old. But you know, <laughs> thanks, Jill. <Jill's. laughs> I'll tell you something. Some people won't share their secret recipes, and this was secret. And that flour, that oatmeal flour thing, I've never heard of that. And That's great amazing. Milk and everybody's gonna get cookies. Everyone here can taste it. They're delicious. Thank you, Jill. Yeah.